hello everyone in our today's video i'm gonna show you how you can add facebook messenger chat application in your website it is the same like the real-time messenger application as you see that's the icon it will be for messenger once i click on that icon it will start the chat as you see a chat with react bd and hi how can we help you so this is the message it's gonna pop up at the beginning this is starts the chat and i will go with as a guest after i'm going through i'm gonna having some individual question i'm gonna show you how you can set up that question and answer because if i click on that answer it's gonna follow up through with that uh, like the answer it's gonna pop up with that automatically okay also just like as you see i can just put that hello there so that's the message i am sending to them and that's also auto generating message okay so this the things now if i go to my page as you see i am receiving that message so now let's go to my that matter business suite where i can view all the messages and by the way you can also see those messages in the messenger on real time so now as you see that's all that's the messages i'm sending hello there and also uh I'm, I can send message from here. How can I help you? So let's send that message. And after sending, as you see, you can send the, see that message in real time. So like with the client, you can access that message in real time. So all of the setup we're going to create today, we're going to implement it today. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. You can do it, it with any project, any React application. We are going to use that React Facebook which is the like one of the good uh, npm subjectory for that one but i'm not going to use that react messenger customer chat because whenever i am trying to create that i try several times in google search in chat gpt everyone is suggesting me that but that will be a problem if you are running that react more than 16 okay because right now i think the react is now if, if in my project if we just go there it will be 18.2 i believe so it will not be suitable for that it's only be available for 16 like that so let's run my project npm run dev so we are going to use that one to create our today's that uh, messenger icon so let's go and to start that we need to install that one first let's open it up And let's copy that and in my another terminal i'm gonna just install that one that react facebook and to use it is very simple first of all let's see what's it saying over here because you you can use so many options from there like facebook provider like or so many you share or share button comments embedded post but what we're gonna use for our messaging a simple one which will be that customer chat okay so now for that we need to import that facebook provider and customer chat and we need to keep that inside a component okay so this is our basic setup of application this is the amazon clone which will be also coming in our next video in that uh in in, in our channel the same channel and here I use that Next.js, the new one, which is 13.4. So here, 13.4.4. So for that, we gonna we need to uh, like compile that one. And to do that, as you see, we have one the page.tsx. From here, we are importing everything. So now in the components, we're gonna create another file, which will be like Facebook MSG.tsx RFCE. So now this is the our component which will be responsible to create that chat application and what we need to do to implement that we need to import that facebook provider and chat and after that we need these two portion so one will be the facebook provider which will need to have that app id because we need to create a app facebook app and also we need that our page id so first of all let's go to our page okay so in the math suite what i'm gonna do we're just gonna go to in our page and by the way it will like it's always working with the page it will not work with uh, like your group or a personal chat application 
So now what I'm gonna do is go to the profile and inside the profile on the section of about you can come over here in the page transparency because previously there was a different setup if you go to like previous videos before one year or six months before now the Facebook setup is changed so in the page transparency you will have that page ID so you can copy that page ID and now we need to keep that page ID over here now we need another small thing which is will be the app ID now what's the app ID so to understand that app ID what you need to do you need to go to that Facebook developer account if you logged in with your Facebook it will automatically redirect to that as you see I am already logged in with my account so I can just go to my apps so if I come over here I already created like two three apps so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create another app like set up Facebook login okay next and now I need to give the name so let's see the name of this project and that's the email address of mine let's create our Facebook app okay also I need to give my password oops it okay now I need that app ID from here so that's the app ID I need to implement so let's hit save so now also minimize it will be true so people can minimize my application now I need to import it over here so I want to like I in all the folder I want to show it so what I'm gonna do after that div I'm gonna add that one over here so now that one will be Facebook message hit save and let's go to our project okay as you see because I am using the next.js 13 because uh, now this project is server side rendering now what is server side what is client side, client side that I'm gonna explain when we are going to create that overall whole application that Amazon clone is just coming within a week so because that messenger chat application it will be interactive with user right people will message with it so that's why it will be the client side application and to client side application what I need to do I need to like in the top of that I need to add use client but here we are not gonna use client over here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to Facebook message dot TSX and I'm gonna add that use client over here and after adding use client it will be the problem will be solved so now our application is good to go because why is use client because in the messenger it will be interactive with users people will act like they will send messages to you you're gonna reply the message to them so it will be an uh, like uh, the client button client gonna use it but server side rendering by default is all the components is server side in server side you can fetch the api like that product i just get through the server side if you come over in my product section uh like uh i think i believe i get that one through an api data api so it's i'm getting it through the server side but at that facebook uh, message.tsx i'm keeping it as client side so now as you see you still cannot see that so if we just inspect over here you're gonna get a bunch of error from the facebook because the facebook client that uh, customer chat it will to run that one you need it will not run in that local host you need to have an HTTPS so what we need to do we need to deploy our website to the internet only then it will be available for us to see so let's go I'm gonna close my terminal and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna like deploy like if I'm gonna just make git add not git add git init and then I'm gonna make git add and also let's go to my github account and what I'm gonna do over here I'm gonna create one repository for that particular project let's create new and it will be okay let's create and after creating that I'm gonna connect that repository of mine over here 
and then i'm gonna origin master i'm gonna push that uh okay it's not uh okay 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 it will be like i need to commit first commit m origin master so now i'm pushing all my code through my github and with that github i'm gonna connect my application to versal so let's go to my versal dashboard okay let's new add a new project and that is the facebook message application which we have been created right now so let's deploy it over here Now, what it's gonna do, it's gonna fetch everything. I have uh, like several videos about how you can deploy in Versal, how you can put it in your GitHub. So that's why I'm not explaining it that much. So just let that website to be in live. Okay. Just give it a bit of time. And when it's getting live, we need to do another things. Okay. And that things we need to do in our page. So I believe that is the okay that is the our page one and from that page we need to go to settings and from that settings what we need to do we will go advanced messaging and in that advanced advanced messaging we need to like uh, whitelisted the domain which the domain we're gonna use first we need to get the domain it's already created and that is the address we need to whitelist so just copy that address and let's go to our project over here we're gonna add that domain oops didn't copy it yet okay Control c and Control v so now we whitelisted uh, that particular entry point so the facebook messenger will go through with that and give us access to use that in our application as you see once you just come over here head back our application is ready so now with that application with that website we can use our real-time chatting like if i start chatting it will like if i go with continue as guest and because these things like that automated chatting are uh, one we are handling from over here like if we go to um, let's go to our facebook again and let's go to the professional dashboard from where we can set up everything and there you can find that messaging settings and inside that messaging settings you can create every other things like automation okay you can create that instant replay which uh, i have uh, created like anyone if we just uh, go to that website as you see it will come with that automated message which i have been created over here and also other things like the question and answer automated question and answer also you can create it from over here so okay okay messaging settings again I think it just kicked me from there and now that the frequently asked questions if you go to edit you can see the question one two three so if i just edit a bit you can see the question where the question i write where the answer i have been written so that's everything just uh, you can do it if you want it's just very simple so you can easily implement that a uh, facebook a uh, chatting in your own website try it is free totally free and it's very useful because you can use lots of other things like uh, you can use for the subscribe events or use logging status so many things is available for that so i hope you can do it in your website and by the way in our uh, like in your coming videos uh, coming days videos what we're gonna do we're gonna create that application that uh, amazon e-commerce website because there previously we have been done one which didn't finish and by the way uh, like youtube just uh, disqualified one of my video with that uh, amazon clone video so i didn't finish that one but in that video 
everything will be fully finished so just try to do that messenger portion and that videos is coming very soon for you